Hello everyone, I'm here with a new process video today. I'm again working on four layouts here. These are still from my Canva hybrid album, showcasing fall of 2022. And I have three templates that are from one set that I bought and one from the other. So this one that you see here, this one, and this one are all from this set from my sweet Kate. This is the one I predominantly used for this album. And then this one is this option right here from Oh Snap Holly. So you can kind of see here, I did tweak it a little bit. I dropped in a digital stamp that I had, so I didn't create that myself. It was just an element I already had, so I just dropped it in there, just sized it the way I want. And then down here, you can see I kept the line. I kind of liked the way that looked, and then I just typed in my own text. So that was really easy. The rest of these, I really didn't have to manipulate these too much, as you can see on here. Like this one over here is this template, very similar to what's here. I just chose to get rid of the text at the top and drop in another digital element that I had. So that was very, very simple. And then this one is this template right here. I pretty much kept it the way it was in terms of boxes, didn't didn't adjust anything there, but I took out all the text that was at the bottom because again, I had this digital element and I thought it matched perfectly. I love what it said. So I just dropped that in there. Very simple. And then this one, I really like this option. And it's not often that I have a long, narrow photo like this, but this one just happened to work really well in that style and it's kind of hard to see because it's hiding behind here but it's this template here so this is the long photo and then there are boxes behind it and then at the top they had text I did the same thing I did with the other ones I removed the text and I dropped in a digital element that I had it was already made this way so I didn't adjust the color or anything it just worked with with what I had so dropped it in there sized it to fit and that's all So once again, I have brought out all of my autumn stuff here. So I have my acrylics. And while I have a big space here, I kind of already have a title. So I don't know that I'd want to use any of those there. But I also have all of my chipboard pieces still. Stickers, enamel dots, some wood veneer. I also forgot I had these tucked in there. And these are just little pennants that I bought digitally and then cut out and they're the right color so maybe I can work some of those in there and then all the usual stuff my phrases die cuts and ephemera puffy stickers I haven't used a lot of these in this bag maybe I'll pull that out and see if I can work in some of those and then I also have some alphas if I need them again since I kind of already have a title I don't know that I would but they're there if I want them From my bags of stuff, I pulled out a bunch of things that I thought might be good here, just color-wise and size-wise. This one actually might be a little too big. I think that's a full two inches, but these other ones are a little bit smaller, so they might be okay. And then I have these pennants as well. So I'm just going to start messing around and seeing, do I like any of the phrases? Do I like any of these? And I have to say, these are all from a digital set I bought, and you get these in a bunch of different colors. You can see I didn't punch them perfectly. <laughs> I've got a little bit of a border, but frankly, I don't care. It's fine. But I like these because you get half in the color, but then the other half, you can either write a date or stamp something or put a little word sticker or something. And that's what I love about these. And I've used these a ton, and I think I maybe paid $3 for the digital file with all the different colors, so it has been totally worth it. I feel like on this side I need to have some green in there, and so I have both of these sitting there. I think I like this one better, just because of the different tones that are in here. This is almost a little too, like, seafoam green, something like that, and it doesn't feel quite right, so I think I'm actually going to just go with this one. And I'll keep as much of that color as I can to bring that in. But then I have to figure out what I want there. I have this little thing 
that might fit in there. I'm not sure if I like that or not. I'll put that over here in case. And then I'm going to get my stamps out that are specific to fall and see if I have something small enough that might fit in there. I have pulled out my stamp set here and this is from Ellie's studio and a lot of these are too long but I think I have a solution. This one that says cool and crisp air I'm just going to not use the air. I'm just going to do cool and crisp and it'll be tight. I mean, it'll really fit end to end, but I held it up. It will fit. I just have to be really careful about how I stamp, but I think I'm going to do that and I will stamp in black because I do have this black print over here. So I think that will match well. And there you have it. The stamping came out well. It did go over a little bit on the sides, but not enough that I really care. I like the look of it, so I'm going to use it. And I will attach it right up there. So when I was looking at this up top, I decided that I didn't like quite how wide that was. And I've picked out three different kinds of washi here and I just need to decide which one I like the best. I'm kind of thinking maybe this one because it matches well with this, but I do like them all. And I like a little bit of that dark sort of burnt orange color. This is certainly brighter, so I may end up with this one to bring that in, but I'm just gonna hold them up there and see. And then when I decide, I'm just gonna tear a little piece. These are quite wide, so I don't need a lot, just enough to kind of overlap the top and that's it. I did decide to go with this washi and I just tore off a very small piece, used the jagged ends and I just folded it over. And that's really all I need to do on that one. So I actually think this side is done. I don't think I want anything else on there because I've got two kind of large elements. But over here, I still need to find something for up here in this dead space. And then I was thinking maybe using this down here somewhere this feels a little too close to up top but maybe here but i still need something for this space when i was trying out the different elements over here i decided i liked this one i love it it just has a stars and like yay this is awesome it's great and it would fit kind of you know right here in the middle let's see how i like that I just realized my star is a little crooked. Ooh, I hope I can get this up. Don't tear, don't tear. Okay, good. And then I can just shift a little. Yes, that's better. Okay, now it's even. <laughs> and I noticed this also has a star, so I don't know if that's too much to put that down here. But I feel like with these elements at the top, it's very top heavy, so I need something down here to balance out with this. just not sure I think if it weren't a star if it were something else I'd feel better about it but because I already have a star I kind of don't like it now so maybe we'll put that aside and I'll look for something else I pulled out the puffy stickers that I have here from Cardabella and I think I'm going to use this one I like that it's pumpkins but in three different shades there's actually white in there so that will bring in a little bit of this white border that's around here as well as this white so let's see how I think about that. Yes, I definitely like that better than this. It's a little bit bigger than I thought I would do, but I like it. And I think these two are done. So I thought I was done with these, but I'm not. I realized I have this open spot here that I had dropped in a little journaling card or a filler card and then didn't do anything with it. I think it could look okay as is, but I might consider putting a sticker there. And I realized I had these two-tone pumpkins here, including a white one, and then I also have this. So that worked out. I kind of forgot about this because I did the actual layouts in Canva a while ago and they've just been sitting, but happy accident. I did find in my stickers here that a lot of these are too big, but like this one just says fall and it's tiny. So I'm thinking it would fit in there. Yeah, just like that kind of. There we go. Yes, I like that. Now it feels done. I can move on to the other two layouts. 
for these two layouts, I grabbed out a couple of extra things beyond what I had here. These were some other things I found in that bag. Oops, there we go. That I thought might work because of the color and just the design and the size. So I'm gonna play around with all of this stuff and see what I can do for these. For this one, I think I'm going to just layer these pieces. I like that these three are all circular. It brings in the color. And then I have another little pop of pink here in addition to this one. And I like that because my friend, sadly, this is my friend who passed away. Um, she was wearing pink that day, which you wouldn't normally think of as fall, but it definitely was a pop of color. So I want to honor that. And I think this is a good way to do it. For this layout, I think I only want to do one thing down here because I've got this up top. It would kind of be weird to have anything in the upper left or upper right because something is already centered. So I think I'll leave that alone. But for down here, I had this element that was in my pile of stuff and I think I want to use it right there. All right, I've added that in, and that's really all I need to do for this one. I love the little pop of orange that brings out the leaves, so I think that's good. I didn't end up using any of these, but I have more layouts to come, so maybe I will on some of those. But otherwise, these four are finished and ready to go in the album. Thanks for watching.